Welcome back to Dual Sided. The Clippers curse, it strikes again. You know, Wednesday morning, it, we learned that Kawhi Leonard may miss the rest of the series versus Utah, you know, the Utah Jazz due to a knee injury that, you know, it's take, is officially a knee injury as we speak. But I mean, in my opinion, I think it's going to be updated to an ACL injury. That, and that's what, the, that's what the Clippers fear, that it may be an ACL injury. Just to give up, you know, how he performed his last game, game four versus, you know, the Jazz in Staples Center. He finished with 31 points, seven rebounds, uh, three assists. And uh, once again, he's currently, you know, he's still listed as a right knee sprain. He will be out indefinitely, you know, but, you know, play the video of just where, where he, you know, where he got injured and we'll react to that. And the crowd just went a little quiet. I couldn't tell if they just bumped knees on that play. He grabbed the right leg oh, right away. take a step there. Yeah. Just an awkward cut right there as he got a bump from Ingles. Leonard. I mean, that. Uh, I'm not a doctor. We're not doctors, but that seems like an ACL related. Yeah, for sure. I mean, just the way he landed and he extended back i mean that has acl written all over it but i mean once again we're not you know doctors so we'll just have to see what the actual you know the actual doctor you know the mri is you know what do you think you think that just based on watching it, you think it's going to be serious yeah i think it is I th I th in my opinion i don't think he's just out of the rest of the series i think he's done for the playoffs I, th I think the if he's first of all if he misses a series he he's done yeah and he finished the game by the way didn't he no, I think he just sat the rest of the game. Yeah. But um, you know, Jeff Stotts at in street close tweeted, Well now we know it's Kawhi's ACL. The next step is determining the degree of the sprain and the subsequent treatment. Very few NBA cases have avoided surgery, but a low grade sprain would be the best case scenario. Yeah, and that's definitely not a good idea because if the ACL is already injured even though it's not teared, it definitely sets it up for a tear in the future. Yeah. So you, if yeah, I, I found him, I'm sitting this out. But um, you know, reportedly he, Kawhi spoke to his team Tuesday night and told them to be ready to play without him. So he must have known that it was serious beforehand. And uh, you know, the injury, as serious as it seems, you know, he's you know, this is just added to the list of injured stars of the 2021 NBA playoffs. I mean. You know, what was it first? You know, AD, LeBron, Donovan Mitchell, Luka, Kyrie, Harden. I mean, now, you know, CP3, the injury and, you know, the virus, you know, and now Kawhi. I mean, this is just, it's just bad. It's just bad luck. And speaking of bad luck, Clippers are no, you know, they're not strangers to bad luck. I mean, Clippers since 2014 in the playoffs, you know, in 2014, they had the controversial game five versus OKC. You know, in 2015, he, they blew the 3-1 lead to the Rockets. In 2016, Chris Paul broke his hand. 2017, uh, you know, Blake injury. You know, Blake uh, Griffin had a toe injury. And then 2019 was the I promise we tried. You know, versus the Warriors and stuff. And then, you know, obviously last year, the 3-1 lead, they blew to the Nuggets. You don't think they're getting by, by with just Chris? Uh, you know, Definitely Paul, not. Just by the, I think he's, you know, stepped up, but I mean, I don't think you can rely on you know Paul George to step it up. You know, in these in these moments, I mean, you know, they're two games away from the Western Conference Finals. Obviously, today, you know, the Game Five, and you know, by the time this is released, you know, most likely the Clippers would have lost. Huh? It's, it's in, in Utah. Yeah, I, I say Clippers lost already. You know, Suns definitely not looking too bright themselves. They're already in the Western Conference Finals, but. With CP3 out indefinitely due to COVID, who needs to step up for, you know, the Clippers for them to win? You know, obviously Paul George, but who else? Just everyone surrounding him. Yeah, I say, I say, you gotta Patrick Beverly, Rondo, Rondo's gotta take the lead. I think, I'm, I'm, if anything, I think Rondo is gonna be the one. Yeah, but scoring wise, who's gonna take that load? Well, obviously it's gonna be have to be Paul George. It's gonna have to be the. You know, the Morris is gonna have to step it up. I don't know if Ibaka's back yet. Ibaka's been having injuries. And, you know problems you know, another case of bad luck for the nba playoffs i mean this was if, if first of all if everyone was healthy ibaka is out for the playoffs oh he is yeah he so had back surgery yeah so ibaka is done so i mean I don't, I don't even at this point i don't know who's who else has to step it up obviously everyone else has to but the next guy obviously is paul george but i don't i, I just don't trust him you know in these moments i mean who else is there 
You had cousins, but you can't really. Your cousin hasn't really played much. Um, really, no offense whatsoever. Reggie Jackson definitely needs yeah, to Reggie step Jackson, it up. You know, that's another probably the second option behind PG for the you know Clippers. Um, you think the Clippers are cursed at this point? I think they are. <laughs> if anything, this looked like their year with the Lakers out. Yeah, it did. You think if Kawhi was healthy and they would have beaten the Jazz, they would have beaten the Suns for sure. Yeah. Uh, for sure, I think they would have beaten. I, the, they probably would have won won it all with the Nets and their injury issues with Harden and Kyrie. Yeah, and that's another team that's going through injuries. Um, you know, really, so though, if you look at the NBA, the only team the only team that has no excuse to lose at all is uh, the Bucks. You yeah. know, they have an easy way. I think the Nets are up, you know, one game. So I think the Nets are going to finish it out. Uh, wait, who do the Nets play after the Sixers? Yeah, because the, the Sixers, Sixers are going to play. And the Sixers are, are facing, Embiid is another guy who's you know been injured. So I mean, the Sixers are most likely going to beat the. And you never can trust the Sixers at all. I, the Sixers, I mean, it's two two. Yeah, but the Sixers are definitely going to close it out. I say mm-hmm. they're they're going to win the next two, um, and then they're going to go up against you know the Nets. I don't. Th- I think the Nets are going to beat the Sixers for sure. And then for the Western Conference, depending, you know, if, you know, Kawhi's out, you know, Jazz. It's gonna be Jazz Suns at that point. I say Jazz. Yeah, Jazz. If, if CP3 is three, there. if CP3 is there, see, you know the I you think know, Suns. Suns are gonna win in five or six, and then from there, I I say I say Nets. Nets are gonna win it all if they're healthy. Are you versus saying? Jazz? No, versus Suns. If so, if CP3 is still, I think they would beat the Suns, but the Jazz. I think that would be tough. I don't think they match up well against them. Yeah, but the, it'll be interesting the rest of the playoffs. I mean, hopefully no one else gets injured. You know, you need those, you know, star players. You need those, you know, the others to be healthy, to make it entertaining and, you know, to have a shot at the title. You know, so once again, this is Dual Sided. Follow us on Dual Sided down below. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And uh, comment down below your thoughts. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace. (laughs)